Hey, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where and when you're viewing this video. It's me, your friendly neighborhood deacon. We've survived the weekend, and we're back for another shave of the day. Uh, today, what we're going to be doing is a little presentation. Dahara, my pal over at uh, Pearl, sent me one of these. Pearl Blaze. We're going to unbox it and shave with it today. Nice box. Almost as nice as the one that the uh, the Flexi comes in. It's a slide open. And the Blaze comes with warranty instructions on how to register it. So we're going to be doing that a little bit later. And it says... Introducing your new favorite razor, no plastic waste, 100% brass, CNC processed. Razor details. Total razor height is 110 millimeters. The handle is 98 millimeters. It's a double edge, closed comb. The weight is 105 grams. I like a heavier razor. This is going to be nice. And this one even tells you what the blade gap is, 0.74 millimeters. Nice. And the package contains one razor, 10 blades, five washers for putting your razor together, one cleaning kit, and a user's guide. I like that. I like that. And a little thank you card. This came with a yellow polishing cloth. Some washers. Put the washers down here. Silver Max blades. You can see it. There we go. Silver Max. Cryo sputtered platinum blade. I'm going to shave with these. They were kind enough to send them. I guess there's a reason for it going with the razor. Unknown. And here's what the razor itself looks like inside the box. Very nice. Pop the handle out here. Yeah, this got some weight to it. Tell you that. It's real good. I like it. There's your cap. There's your cap. And here's the base. So I'm going to put this together and I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. I made a decision. I'm going to do everything right in front of me so we can load this up. So here's the blade out of the tuck. Silver Max all over. Unlike other blades, it's got the numbers all over it. One, two, three, and four. Here's the head. Oops, man overboard. Hang on. No injuries, no fouls. Run it on right over there. It's got straight bars with a spot in the middle. I'm going to pop this bad boy on here. Comes together nice. Little or no overhang. There's your blade gap. How much blade are you going to feel? Let's grab a washer. Pop that right on there as it sits. And we'll get the head ready. 
do a screw on here. This does have a value, a lot of nice weight to it. Let's see if we can get a balance mark. There we go. Nice, very nice. All right. Uh, the missus and I celebrated birthdays over the weekend. And yesterday on the way to church, we were reminiscing about when we lived in New York. So with that in mind, I'm in a empire state of mind. From my friend Pete over at Hendrix Classics. We'll take a little scoop of soap here. Pop that into the bowl. Get a little bit of warm water in there. Come on. And we're gonna get the warm water out of the cup. Gonna go with my original first brush that I ever had. And we're gonna make a leather. And the Empire State of Mind is just exploding in this hand hammered prototype. Shaving bowl. It's just for history reasons. Let's add a couple of drops of Silty's secret ingredient. I've already taken care of the first two of the three S's. <laughs> An interesting thing over the weekend, I found a song on Spotify that is about the three S's. And the title is Shower and Shave. I may include it in a video soon. You never know. All right, let's maybe slide on there. At least I think. Let's wet the face and start to shave. So anyway, we were celebrating our birthdays over the weekend. Had the family over on Saturday. And had a good time playing Michigan Rummy. You can look that up, all you history buffs. It's a fun game. Lots of fun. Goes back in the family a long time. And we, my cousin Leslie actually had the original box that it came in. So that was a lot of fun. All right. Here we go. We're blazing now. That. A little feels a little aggressive. More aggression. And the K2, I'll tell you that. It's an inter interesting layout on the head. I would guess it 
Right. Maybe it's the design that feels more aggressive than anything. The blade is not tugging as I thought. You can feel the, you can hear the feedback. I don't know whether you can hear it, but I can. So far, it's doing a nice job. I mean, granted, there was only one day, let me get that out of my nose. It's only one day's growth because I did have to shave before church yesterday. First pass is done. Let's see how it did. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe my angle is wrong, but I felt still a bunch of stubble after a first first pass, which is unusual for a pearl. Like I said, maybe it's operator error. Who knows? I did exfoliate before, so the beer was soft. Let's hit pass two, shall we? No cross. Yeah, I think my angle might have been a little off. Thinking with this razor, you have to adjust. You have to adjust your angle a little bit more than normal. They say the angle should always be about maybe 30 degrees. I think this one, you may have to keep your angle a little more toward the 40 or 45. But depending on the shaver, 
your mileage may vary. The Blaze is a nice razor. It feels good. The, uh, you're gonna have to get used to it. Use it a couple more times. Because uh, there may be a bit of a learning curve on this. Let's go against. It's not catching. Hmm. Well, let's go again. No. Maybe operator error. Be right back. I'm back, and yes, it was operator error. I put the base on backwards. <laughs> Foolish human. So let's run over this real quick. I know when Eric over at Better Every Shave takes a look at this video, he's going to laugh his behind off. Put the face on backwards, you idiot. So, folks, this just goes to show that I am human. There we go. Now I can feel the blade a little more and a little bit more aggression. That's a whole lot better. head into the office after I finish the shave. And we'll just go up on this one.
Yet, I would say that with the base put on properly, this is an aggressive razor. I mean, not to the point where I'm hacking my face. But you can definitely feel the blade. Just going to hit a couple of little spots. You need that early. Hear the feedback. If you start to do something wrong, this razor will warn you. Much, much better. Get a little cold water for the Get the Allen block, the cold water on that. For an aggressive razor, Not much sting. Help it dry a little bit. So, you all know my tagline at the end of these things. If shaving is not your most important, one of the most exhilarating parts of your day, you might be doing something wrong. Well, I keep a sheet of it here just in case I want to look at it. My wife has a very sick sense of humor. She made a few edits on it, and it says, and I, quote, I will quote, if shaving is the most invigorating part of your day, then you're not having sex. I'll leave it at that. Funny, funny. I love my wife. I love my wife. It's going to be 23 years this year that we've been together. That woman ought to be sainted for putting up with me. So, that's done. Let's get a little bit of the Empire State of Mind. The aftershave. Pop it on here. Mmm. Love that scent. Mmm. Hendrix and Pasteur hit a home run on this. So, that's the shave. This is the Blaze from Pearl with the base put on properly. <laughs> Foolish human that I am. 
If you like an aggressive razor, you're going to like the blaze. It'll blaze right through your face. Well, not through your face, but you know what I mean. It'll blaze through your beard. It's a good shave. Aggressive, but didn't tear it up. So anyway, that's the shave for today. If shaving is not the most invig one of is not one of the most invigorating parts of your day, you might be doing something wrong. Be good to yourselves and to each other. See you soon.